script really stood out for me. I mean, a kid that saves the world and fights in zero gravity, what more could you want? We had an incredibly intelligent group of kids um, and an incredibly fun group of kids. Action on the skate. After I read the script, not only was I left picturing how it'd be shot and how it's gonna look, but it screamed fun to me. Seeing some of these exciting things like zero gravity come to life, it was the biggest challenge and, and the most fun. Step through that gate and you're in a zero G environment. That was a huge fun part of shooting the movie, is, is how to create this battle room um, with all the zero gravity stunts and so on. And, and that was a hugely challenging, but ultimately really fulfilling experience. We're actually good with these two stars, personally. Garrett Warren has massive experience in terms of the gymnastic requirements. Kids on wires in spinning hoops with Cirque du Soleil performers helping train them. We really needed an extraordinary stunt coordinator um, who could put kids on wires and yet make it look like they weren't hanging from pick points. I have worked on a number of science fiction movies before this movie. And, you know, although I do love all those movies and they're great, uh, this movie is by far one of my most favorite movies I've ever done, hands down, whether it be science fiction or not. He's spent more than a decade researching how to create zero gravity. Floating weightless is so difficult that most adults, even gymnasts, can't grasp it. You have to be able to simulate and act like you're floating weightless even though you're on wires or on an arm. It's really actually not just hanging on wires. Garrett has come up with some incredible rigs. This film, I think, is probably more challenging than any film that's done zero gravity because of the sustained periods of time that we spend in a zero gravity environment. We designed an apparatus specifically for this movie called the Lollipop. It's a suspended speed rail arm that has a counterbalance on one side and a puppeteering ring that you can actually steer somebody with. Uh, and on the other side, it has a ring that someone will sit in. And they're able to spin in any position they like of their own free will. At the same time, they're also able to move themselves through space without someone touching it. We can puppeteer them, literally, as if we were grabbing just a puppet in space and turning it backwards. It is the most ideal apparatus you're going to have to fly someone. At the end of the day, this is wish fulfillment for the kid in all of us. I wished I was younger so I could get on the wires and do the stunts with him. Right before we were shooting, we'd actually do wire work to get us used to it. He just put us in the wires, give us a little obstacle, and be like, play with it, and just do whatever you want. And like, he just run off and do flips. The demands in being in those harnesses are extreme on your body. Having to mimic all these motions and things like that that aren't real was very, very difficult, but I think we definitely got the hang of it. Garrett helped me keep gravity in mind when you want to, like, flip and you have to keep in a constant motion or else, like, because when you're in zero gravity, you can't speed up or slow down. Garrett is brilliant with kids, full of positive energy. He is so enthusiastic about what he does, and that just makes it so much more fun for us. He trained all of our performers and brought them up to a level where they truly could do 90% of their own stunts. The action in this movie is far superior to anything that I've ever been able to do. And that's, of course, through the years of experience. It was just really fun. It was like a giant playground. <laughs> <laughs>